Hi, my name is Ben and I'm a support engineer with GitLab in the APAC team. In this video, I wanted to showcase a brief demonstration of importing JIRA project issues to GitLab. Now, as shown on the documentation, this was first introduced in GitLab 12.10, uh, and then there were some further updates introduced in GitLab 13.2. Um, at this stage, the Jira issues import is still an MVC, meaning that it can do some basic features and functionality, um, but there may be some things that can't be done that are known here in the known limitations section. So for the example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a example I have in Jira, which is specifically Jira Cloud. I have here on this example project, example project, EP board, I've got two do items uh, listed here under one and two. So these are the two issues that I'm going to be trying to import into my uh, GitLab instance. So I've created on a self-managed GitLab instance, a new example project, Jira issue import project. And we're going to look at to see that the Jira integration has been enabled. So this is a prerequisite that is also noted in documentation. We have to make sure that this has been integrated and is ready to go correctly. So with this enabled, we can now go to our issues on the project and we can try to import. We can see here, we can select new issue or import issues. We can either do this via a CSV file or via Jira. So we click this one, it'll bring up a prompt, which will allow us to select from where we wanna import. At this stage, I only have the one example project, which is EP. And it'll also come up with a prompt asking us about our user mapping template. So for this, depending on the user that is listed in Jira, we can define a mapping to what username we want this to go, go to in uh, the GitLab project. Now, the requirements here are that the member has to exist. So they already have to have a GitLab user account and they also have to have been invited to the project. So we can see here under GitLab username, the only option I have listed here is root or the root account on this self-managed instance. So if I want to change this, I'll have to invite a member. So what I'll do is I'll just X and out of this. It hasn't actually done any imports yet. We'll go to members. We can see it's just this member here. I'm going to invite a member. I'll invite a member that I've created before, which is me. Invite them as a developer. And we'll go back to issues, import issues, import from Jira. import from EP. And now we can select under the dropdown, Ben King. So it's gonna map the Jira user, Ben King, which is the one that created these issues. And it's gonna map it to Ben.King. So now we can click continue. And depending on the, uh, the intensity or the, the length of how big the import is, this could take some time. Um, otherwise it might complete rather quickly. So we can give this a moment to complete and then we can check it again. All right, so with that complete, I've just loaded this up and I've selected the Jira import EP1 label, which if I select this one, it should load correctly. And we can see that it's showing us two open issues. So we can see that it's mapped it telling me who's created the project, or sorry, who's created the issue. So we can see under EP1, created by Ben King, and that's mapped it to my identity or my user account in Jira. So that's just keeping in mind who created the issue. And we, we know that for uh, for tracking purposes on in terms of who created the issue. Um, so again, it's imported some of the metadata, which has been listed under the known limitations as well. So it has the basic functionality for importing the issues, but there may still be further functionality that you need to, uh, to implement. Um, and that was a brief introduction to importing Jira project issues into GitLab.